tee with tee quilts and I'm doing another quilt studio on tours videos and I am going to Joyce's house today I'm almost at her home and I just thought that I would check in with you before I got there doing a quilt studio on tour today and she has a magnificent space for you she has some different storage solutions and I think you're going to enjoy her quilt studio so this is Joyce and she says she doesn't mind being on camera and I'm glad because then she gets to give you the full tour of her studio and exactly what it is that she uses. We're on the lower level of her home and she is going to tell you all about how she is using this space. <laughs> hey T, this is my favorite room in the house now. <laughs> it's evolved. Originally it was my exercise room. And I shared it with my elliptical and my treadmill. Well, they slowly got moved out. And I slowly organized into what I have now. Um, this is my uh, embroidery station. At this point, I did a lot of sewing on this machine but I've got a different one now I do my piecing on. And this is the Elysimo Gold or the regular Elysimo? It's, it's the gold. Okay. And I've had it, I, it was my present to myself when I retired. <laughs> and um, I think I bought the cabinet the next year. It was another gift for something. And, and this is a koala cabinet and she has it about at her waist. Nice for height and then she has one of their drafting style chairs in the back as well and since we're talking about this what storage is here since you've got containers here i've got little bins for different projects okay pretty and cool while we're here i use a lot of these when i buy the um, uh, what do they call this it's the wet swiffers Okay. These are wonderful for the pieces as you're making projects. Okay. And they have nice little snap-on lids. Wow. Very nice. And I threw a few away and I then I realized these are treasures. Pretty cool. <laughs> and then, um, I think it was before that, my husband made this fat quarter holder. He saw all my shoe boxes full of fat quarters around the floor and it really bothered him. So he, <laughs> He designed this, and it's super Isn't because that cool? you can sort them by color, and I mainly keep things around fat quarter size in there. Very nice. Great for picking out fabrics. Very pretty. And then you got um, like two panels of design walls or is what yes it's it's block butler okay and i really don't recommend it but i haven't so i'm using it uh, the sticky didn't last and you can stick flat pieces of fabric up there and if you use pins they get gummed up okay but it, it does work it's just not optimal okay I, i've seen a lot better ones 
very nice. But you got almost a whole wall. Well, you actually have a whole wall that is dedicated to design space, which yes. is pretty nice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very nice storage area here. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were there. She's got some but friends with her. She's holding one and then we've got another one there. Yes. <laughs> <My buddies. laughs> so here we'll just start with what is this storage unit here? It's called Alpha and you buy it from the container store. Alpha from the container just, store. Yes. And they help you design it. I saw the original one. It was about two sections wide and they were all big drawers. Okay. But as mine evolved, uh, I've got shelves here, I've got the pegboard, I've got little drawers that hold a lot of little things you want. And then she's got handy. different separators you put in. Little trays probably from the dollar store. You got it. <laughs> and, and But these hold wow. my threads. Uh, these are my embroidery threads. I've got three, three drawers of those. Okay. Then other things that, um, here's my software, Okay. design software, mm -hmm. then uh, here's, this is my Alaska, I'm, I'm going to do Alaska project, these are different <laughs> things from Alaska, Okay. here's some of my pre-cuts, but it, it's great for your rulers Very that you nice. want to pull out and you can organize them. This is tiles ready to be embroidered. Okay. But so she mostly uses this room. Now it has involved more into her embroidery area. Yes. So the um, she also has some storage up here for her Go products. She's got a Go Baby up there. She's got a lot of dyes here. She's got some of the containers to store your Go dyes in. It's turned out to be a wonderful functional And then. Area. We, I was talking with her earlier and she was talking about how she uses one of these books to put all of her ruler instructions in. So we'll just show you how she stores that as well. So often you can't find that direction or whatever. And this way you put them in protect your sheets, protect your sheets and then put them in a binder and you can find them. <laughs> And another tip, if it's already too late where you've tossed your papers or can't find them, most of your ruler companies will have instructions online that you can download so you can still have access to your ruler. And I would make sure that it's on your computer. I would prefer a paper file, but your computer will work too. But if you have a power outage, then you won't be able to get it off your computer. But I, I use a book for mines as well, so that's why we want to show you this. These are great for pages and things that... You want to keep handy, but you don't want a stack of them. Mm -hmm. She's got a decorative magazine holders. Look real pretty on the shelf as well. And then turn them backwards and nobody even know anything's in it. it. It looks like it's binders because she has one that's a binder already up there. And then she's got things to hold her scissors here. Hold her hoops. So very well organized and a lot of different storage ideas. She's got these clip-in holders up on top as well. So great storage possibilities. And then on this final wall, she even has, if she wants to watch television here, she's got that here as well. It's hooked up to Apple TV. <laughs> and she even incorporated some family. <laughs> So they can come in too. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then off of this room, again, we're on her lower level. So this is a, the house was built with this being the bedroom and then having this walk-in closet. So she's using the closet for storage. So I'll come in and then we'll have her come behind me and show us what's in here, how she stores her stash. Okay, you're looking at my neutrals. These are all, uh, they, they lend towards the neutrals. They're black and white, they're creams, um, and some of the darker creams. But being a Bonnie Hunter fan, I, I've been collecting neutrals and I love these shells for that. 
And then she's got more of those little storage containers, so she really does use them a yes. lot. So <laughs> I wonderful. just want you to see that. And then you even got some strips hanging on a hanger. <laughs> yes, those are actually from my first quilt. Okay, pretty cool. When I quilted in the kitchen. And then we come around, she's got this upper shelf here that has her bolts. Yeah, I have plans for all of them, but somehow they're on the back burner. <laughs> <laughs> and then below that, we have more storage containers. So these are kind of like your scrap area here. Yes, the top is for smaller pieces of neutrals. Okay. And uh, for Bonnie Hunters right now, I've been going through those a lot. Okay. The lower little cubby holes, on the right you see the Civil War reproductions. Okay. Now on the on the well, the right side, I think the I right see, here. Yeah, the right mm -hmm. has the 1930s reproduction. So this is my reproduction area. Okay. But, but I pull them into very other nice. Quilts. So if you wanted to do a reproduction quilt, they're already sorted out. Yes. So we'll start here again. We've got like some yardage. Yes. Bigger yardage up there. There's some a few minky kits. Yes. kits. Okay. Now the second shell. I love Nancy Halverson's Christmas, and mm -hmm. I planned, I've been collecting it, and I'm going to make a dramatic Christmas quilt one day. The next shelf is some of her greens, and wow. pretty much this whole back wall is sorted according to color. Okay. Bottom shelf is just plaids. Just amazing, and it's all nice and neat. <laughs> 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 and I like having them in stacks because if you pull something out, it's easier to put back up. Yes. The bottom boxes are future to be organized. These are my scraps that are sorted by colors. And I thought it was really nice that she went ahead and put her step stool in here so she doesn't have to go get one or where it's at. It's already in place for her to use it. Exactly. Which is wonderful. Otherwise, you know. And we've got a sleeper here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of exercise playing around with us. <laughs> such a fun little dog. <laughs> so, Joyce, is this the only area that you have for sewing? No, I had a few people come over a couple of years ago to work on a Bonnie Hunter quilt. And so we moved down to the main area. And once we did this, my husband's famous words were, as long as it's being used. And so now I use it every day. So walk on this way. <laughs> I now use this whole big room for everyday sewing. I, on the coffee table, I have my fabric laid out for the Bonnie Hunter this year. I have a couple of quilts on the couch ready to be sent to my long arm quilter. I think um, both of these are Bonnie Hunter's quilts yes. as well. The one on the right I think is Leaders and Enders One Book and the one on the left is one of her free patterns. It's a uh, scrappy, scrappy trip trips. around the world or something yes. like that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then she has a Quilt up here. That's a this display. quilt is my husband's music story. Oh um, wow! Each block, like the first one on the up here in the corner, that's uh, his buddy. They they uh, wow. got forty this, years of friendship through music. Yes, through music, and it's different places that he's either played. So or you made groups. these collages yourself? Yes. Wow. I made them on the computer, and then I used fabric to normalize it into a 12 inch block. Very creative. He loves it. This is a very nice, it documents history and also just a nice memory quilt. It's got music notes uh, nice. quilted into it. Mm -hmm. Staff. Let's see if they can see that. Yes. Very nice. Did you do this quilting or somebody else did it? Uh, Terry did that. Terry did this one. Okay. Very nice. Just beautiful. Nice memory quilt. Then on the bookshelves are my quilt books and videos. 
and we've kind of been in here so that video is laid out <laughs> it was in place <laughs> but we've been looking at stuff while we've been chatting so yes very nice and again she still has got some of the family portraits still made it in <laughs> as well <laughs> and then she's got another ironing station out here yes and it goes with <laughs> she, she has a buddy that comes and sews with her on a regular basis yeah, her machine is here and so this is her friend's machine she just leaves it here <laughs> made it a path to finish some of our <laughs> UFOs together okay and we have great afternoons together it's pretty cool and then she has another sewing machine here that's uh, Elna Excellence 780 yes. and she was showing me it has a couple of tricks where it has a light on it as well which I had never seen before when you open this light, it comes out on the outer. Sorry about that. When you open this light, it comes out on the outer side. Very nice. So the light is directly where you need it, which yes. is wonderful. And then it's got that dual foot pedal down on the bottom. So, and she says the right one is for scissors. Yes. It was a toy I bought while I was in Grand Rapids. So she's got another ironing space right by her sewing machine That's and then they've got more cutting mats here that one's for my shorter friend <laughs> <laughs> and then her main cutting station is here and she has one of those fatigue mats yes. which feels really good i've been on it <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually goes with the bonnie hunter stuff that's on the coffee table over there she's actually working on step number one here so she's working yes. there and then she's just got other projects out and she, that she's working on or will be working on and she asked me if she should move it and i told her absolutely not <laughs> because this is how she would work in her normal day i don't want her to have it so that when i leave she's got to pull stuff back out to be comfortable again with what she's working on but very nice and then in addition, out here, we have deer that come in front Oh, wow. She's got lots and lots of windows for natural sunlight. Yes. And today is an overcast day, so it's not as bright as it would be. Which is probably good but, for film. Mm-hmm. It's, it's better for filming. But very nice. And she's got in her ceilings, just talking about light, she's got a lot of the pocket lights. They're in, inside the ceiling. Yes, it's yeah. Inset. Yeah. Cam lights, I think. Cam lights, okay. And then she even has, I'm just looking at the ceiling to show you what kind of light because people are interested in that as well. And then we just got one final area here that we haven't talked about. She has this little kitchenette and she has where she has access to water for cleanup, microwave, and then she's got refrigerator as well. But she also has. <laughs> The go big. <laughs> yes. It's very nice. And so we sh I showed you some of the go storage in the other room. And then here are her long dies here that sits by the machines. And you mostly use your long dies, I your do. strip dies more than anything else anyway. I do because they're so versatile and I get so much more done quickly with mm -hmm. those strips. <laughs> Being a bounty hunter person, you need a lot done fast. Mm -hmm. And, and it makes a big difference. You can, sometimes people will spend days cutting and you can come over and cut just about where you need in a couple of hours or less for your steps because you've got this die cutting system. Yes, and you add to it mm -hmm. the aspect of scrap quilting that you can throw a lot of different pieces, little pieces, and get them cut to the size you need pretty quick. Well, I've been sold on it. Very nice. So... so glad you came out today. <laughs> no, thank you Joyce for inviting us into your home. We really appreciate this. A lot of my viewers have been wanting to see my studio as like on a daily basis and I'm like it hasn't changed. So I came up with this idea of showing maybe other people's studio that's got different styles of space, different storage systems, just so we could have more variety of what we're looking at instead of just my space. So I appreciate that. 
and uh, I'm sure my viewers will appreciate it as well. I see a lot of unique storage ideas and some things I might want to change and incorporate into my stash uh, storage systems as well. So that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye everybody. See you. <laughs>